As we all know from when we were five or six, we stood up in front of the teacher and we started to read and some of it went south. And from that moment on, it's in your DNA. So as adults, we just have to prepare ourselves for what's going down. It's common sense, okay. Nerves and focus. It takes courage, character and commitment to do this. You've got to think about what you're saying. Practice. You've got to run through your piece and know it thoroughly. You can't wing it. Now, I looked at all of your videos, and yes, they got you into this game. But as John McGraw would say, it got you here, but it won't get you there. <laughs> all of you, please smile. Slow it down. Know who you're talking to. Know what you're talking about. And keep still. <laughs> watching Stevie Wonder, you know, like, keep still. And all of that energy that you use of keeping still goes into your voice. And I'm listening as much as I'm watching. All right. Connect with one person and personalize. As I said to you earlier, you think, okay, there's 100,000 people out there. I'm nervous. I'm going to talk to 100,000 people. No, 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 no. The camera is a person. Visualize that person. Okay, it's my wife. Hi, Sal. Brunette green eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes, whatever she is or he is to you. But use the camera as one person and I'll think you're talking to me and I will buy your product because you are trustworthy, you are sincere, you've practiced, you've warmed your voice up and you know what you're talking about. We forget the one thing we need to stay alive on this planet which is oxygen. Without it, we're screwed. It is your rhythm. When you were in grammar class in English at school, they got you to read and they told you this. A full stop is a beat and you take a breath. A comma is a half beat and you take a half breath. Those are the basics and we've all forgotten. We get the piece of paper and it's going to be something, 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 something again. Nobody got nothing. Nothing. Because it's gone over my head and I said, what the hell did that person say? You're always going to be nervous. Use that energy to enthuse people. Enjoy the moment. And most of all, enjoy yourself. If you're terrified, I'm going to know. If you're having fun, look at that smile. I just got that smile. Earn the smile. All right. Gain experience. Experience builds confidence, which is the key to good presenting. Most beginners find their anxieties decrease with practice. Get the camera and run it a couple of times. See what works for you. There's nothing quite like opportunity is one of the first things I ever wrote when I started this course. I still use it all the time. Get yourself something to be renowned for. Be renowned for quality. Don't be renowned for Dom Dom. McGrath, one of the best in the business, if not the best. He practices. He used to write things down on a piece of paper, laminate it and put it in the shower. So his brain and his psyche knows exactly what's going on. You know when you go into an appraisal and you haven't done the work? Do the work for this as well. You've all done appraisals, yes? You're basically doing the same thing each time, aren't you? We're just changing the words around to suit that particular property, yeah? Same for what you're doing on camera. Have something, a structure inside of yourself so you can change it up every time and be known for quality. If it's not right, then don't send it out. Practice with eyes shut and open so you can do it at any time. And remember, there are so many variables. When you're doing anything, whether it's in front of a camera or it's in front of people, enjoy yourself. If it's labored, you're gone. Enjoy yourself, smile, and get that passion going. The script, make sure it's natural and conversational, okay? Practice, familiarize yourself with what you wish to convey. If you are winging it in an appraisal, then you're Gavin Rubenstein. But he's had all of that practice to know exactly what he's doing each and every time. He's familiar, but most important, he is confident in what he's doing. When you get to that level, you just switch it up a little bit. 
What's the difference between you and somebody else? Your passion and your enthusiasm. If you've got that, you're way ahead of the game.